Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky the Third. I'm the Aryan Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we entered Star Door number 14. The Star Door that requires you to have visited all the other doors in the game. Oh, the Star Door, I mean... You know, it answered a question. What happened to the Oriole? Um, the truth behind it is, when Campanella took Weissman's spear right, like, basically under Kevin's watch, Kevin was looking straight at him. When Vi when Campanella showed up, teleported in, took the spear, teleported out again, said goodbye, was very polite and all of that. Um, when he took Weissman's spear, he didn't really take Weissman's spear, he took Weissman's spear and the Oriole with him. And now the Society for Oberos happens to be in possession of one of the seven most powerful artifacts basically in existence. And, um, well, we, we learned a bit about the structure that society, that this society is built upon. At the top we basically have the Grand Master. Then under him we have the seven Anguiz which Weissman was one of them, but he was the third, but since he was vanquished, he is no more. So currently that position would be vacant. And uh, under them we have all the little organization, ev uh, organizations, Every everybody has something um, underneath them. For example, we have the one person leading the 13 factories and seeing, what the, seeing the development of everything through. And we have, uh, well, we don't, we really do not know anything. We have a sword master. We have very powerful people sitting in that organization. They have an, an uh, information network under their control, and basically, they have power, probably rivaling the Graalsot as well. But um, if they were stronger than the Graalsot, I don't think we'd have this structure in this universe. So. It is all very interesting, but the the you know and the the you know what what we know at this point is there the the gospel plan was basically a, su a success, even though they took heavy losses in losing an Anguiz and losing um, Leonhard the Blade Lord and so on and so forth and losing Ren as well. But um, they are launching a new plan. The phantasmal something. Um, I forgot the name, but this is not the last we've heard of the Society for Oberos, and this is probably not going to be the final game. It's going to be the final uh, final game in the Trails in the Sky series, but Trails of Cold Steel plays in the exact same universe, plays in Erebonia, and we don't know where the story is going to be led. I sure am going to follow the Falcom universe to the very end, as far as I can, uh, as far as I can, and I will be playing all these games. Well, let's play them. I have no idea how it's going to be in four years. I mean, if you look at, uh, for example, my favorite anime, One Piece, I've been following that for over ten years now, and I mean, it's still nowhere near the end. So, yeah, I don't know what can happen in the ne in within the next five years, but let's just for now. Do this. We got a ticket. I was told not to do this. I will just do this though. Open the door and step inside. Proof of your right to challenge the ordeals inside in hand. I was told not to, so let's do it. Ah, good day. It's nice to meet you. So, would you like to be? A, uh, would you like to participate again? Oh, is that an invitation? I see. Could I trouble you to hand it over? The tournament invitation was carefully inspected. Thank you. You may now ch challenge the Nightmare Arena whenever you see fit. Well, what would you like to do now? Was told not to, so I'll do it, of course. Splendid! Well, then, if you don't mind following me... All of Liberal's finest have gathered for battle! The Arena Nightmare! Feel the sting of the Swordmaster's blade! Ha! I think we might end up going up against the Swordmaster, huh? We don't know. Let's start. 
cover your ears. What? It is now the moment you've all been waiting for! Tonight, four new warriors will be stepping up to the plate and challenging, challenging the Nightmare Arena! So let's get right to introducing our fierce fighters, shall we? In the blue corner, we're led by Senior Bracer is still bright of the Bracer Guild! Standing against them in the red corner, we have the aged defenders of the Duke Team Old Tavis! Let the first round begin! Step on up and ready your weapons! Ready! Fight! At least I don't have to scream Greisrat anymore. Philip! 50,000 HP, a servant of Duke Dune and former captain of the Royal Guard. His rapier is deadly. Morgan, 70,000 HP, the famed general who leads Liberal's border garrison. His halberd is not to be belittled. Duke Dunin, 30,000 HP, Queen Alicia's nephew, unarmed but aids those who serve him. Any weaknesses? None. Oh, 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 we have, we have problems. Uh, you take a speed up item. We have bigger problems than I thought. You just go ahead and attack Morgan in the face. I will start out with a Zodiac. You're gonna be able... I should've cast Clock Up X on myself. Just, uh, well, doesn't matter now. I'll do the same with Reese. You will cast... Do you have... Earth Ball? You do not. So, it's gonna be... Clock up X on you, and you'll do that on Kevin. <laughs> Hurricane Wave. Well, those two are immune against all abnormal statuses. Uh, buddy. Attack delay. Attack delay. You did a whole lot of damage to Reese, you know that? You just did a lot of damage to Reese, you know that, guys? Guys. Let's cast Clock Up X on Estelle. Never mind, let's try and... You don't have strength down. Let's Clock Up X Estelle. Let's, let's, let's just heal up. Let's just heal up right now. Um, they can, if they cast an AoE craft, um, they're just gonna obliterate my face. But if I take um, Ren out or Reese out of the middle of my um, situation here, if I take her out and attack Philip, might get out of that position. Okay, please do split up my people more. Okay. Ooh, nice grouping together, guys. I could do that, but that splits them apart. And instead of splitting them up, them apart, I would very, very much enjoy to just slowing them all down and de and crushing their defense. And feeble is gonna hit all of them. Are you resistant? <laughs> 
Oh, you guys. Okay, the first fight is a winner. We can basically not lose here. Not like this. Of course, um, Morgan and Philip do have ass breakers. Keep that in mind while we're doing this. Why does Ren have bigger range? That's what I want to know. That's something I do not like. I will give Kevin and Ren a little bit of CP once I've got Morgan and Philip gone down. Although, no, I, I assume Duke Dunan is able to, to heal him back up. So let's not try and cheese it too too much. I think she has physical equipped. This does not look physical. Ah, never mind. Physical. Esmela's heart! Yeah. You can do that any day of the week, buddy. Um, we're gonna reduce their movement to nothing. Err... By which I mean to say... We're gonna try. Duke, Dunin, what did you do? Heartbreak on these two. When is Reese gonna have another turn? I need to feed up Kevin with a little bit of CP because I'm gonna need that immunity, you know. This is just the first of a series of very rough encounters. And I need CP, ev evidently. They're not all sped down. I will speed you down, Philip. This is probably gonna be Morgan's ass breaker. And it might one shot re Ren. That's not his ass breaker. It is terribly annoying right now, though. Hmm? Cures K. And cures KO! Ah. Oh. I didn't know Holy Blessing cured KO. But thing is, uh, Kevin's gonna have another go before Re Ren. I, I can't believe I'm mixing up their names now every time. Meaning Kevin is gonna have to have some CP. <coughs> Which will also serve as a heal, although he would do that himself. Ah! Had to. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, sacred breath. I don't think I want to take Morgan's ass breaker. Cicada. Uh. I hate what's going on here. Silver Thorn, my CP do get my EP do get healed. So I really need not worry. Oh He's probably resisting as petrification. I don't need to try. Let's holy blessing on Kevin again. 
Because we are gonna need those CP one way or another. And I would rather have double layer of protection. For certain certain enemies that I do not know how they're gonna look yet, but I am I am gonna be scared. I know that for sure. Come on. Get together, guys. Oh. I like Silverthorn so much, though. Alright, Morgan is definitely not getting another Assbreaker out. He's just too slow for that. Uh... I can only hit one. And I should have chosen Morgan, but yeah, it really doesn't matter. Oh, it did. Uh oh. Still a ways to go. Okay. That was the first encounter in a series of very tough fights, I assume. Oh, look at my Zebeth. Tear all bomb, purging bomb. The match is decided! The winner is Estelle's team! <gasps> the Arc Reel? Let's keep up this momentum! First, allow me to introduce who will be fighting in the second round! In the blue corner, we're led by the senior bracer, is still brighter than Bracer Guild! Standing against them in the red corner, we have the bad. We have. Ba we have the back and deadlier than ever Ta Team Org Wheel Mark 2! Step on up and ready your weapons! Ready? Fight! Oh, good lord. Org Wheel Mark II. Resisting against fire. 80,000 HP. An orbital tank developed in secret by the old intelligence division. Now, even stronger. Ladies, gentlemen, I... It was nice, but we've got problems. Do, 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 do. That's the first thing I'll do. Try and clog them down. Nice movement. Not a big surprise, but annoying at that. So I can't slow them down, but I can speed us up. Is the good is the good part here? And I mean, I say I can, but in reality, I mean, I, I, I am saying I, I have to speed us up. Okay, you will speed yourself up as well. Lock up X on you. We're gonna need to re ready our impedes as well. This guy's gonna fire his cannons up in a second. Nice. I could do a dual layer of protection in, this, in, in the next round already. Very good. 
Do you think Dark Matter is gonna move him? Hey, we're gonna find out. I assume he's not gonna care about Dark Matter at all. <clears throat> you know, once you've got a certain weight to you, to your tank, tank basically, I mean, you cannot really expect to end up moving because some weird attack is drawing you somewhere. I get it. Jammer missiles. Buddy, you're not that good. We'll move out of the way. Because Estelle was standing right in the very middle and making it possible that he attacked all of us. I don't know what I'm supposed to cast here, honestly. Let's just cast Dark Matter. I don't think it matters much in the end. I mean, that's good damage right there. And you keep it as you keep it up as well. I will try Calamitous Blast once. I know it will have nearly no effect in terms of our defense down, but well, four thousand three hundred isn't what I was hoping for here. To be honest with you. If I were to use her Icebreaker, I should do it now. But we're really not gonna need to do that here. Sorry, bye bye. What you are you're alive? You're gonna get that back, that hurt. Oh ah. We should probably consider healing her. But I mean, you know, first is uh damaging this big tank. And then we can sit th start thinking about healing a Ren. I can promise you, if she didn't have defense raised, I mean, that would have that would have not felt good. This thing's physical defense is off the charts. I can imagine that this would be a, like that these fights would be much more relaxing if you had Alan Richard with you. But oh well, we don't. I mean Alan Richard and Reese make a great team honestly. She fills his CP back up or he just equips a gladiator headband and belt. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't care. Either way, let's just attack normally. It just doesn't matter much. He doesn't care. Everyone is at 200 CP. We're ready for what's to come. Okay, he's starting to retreat. The thing is, you're too big to escape from my... my stuff. You can't move away from that. I mean, if you were to use Arts Shadow Spear, do you do more than 2,700? I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Aww. Let's 
better than I thought, honestly. He's not gonna survive this. He's not gonna get another turn either, which is too good. I wish you had a skill that allows you to cast stronger arts, but, well, strength up is good enough. They thought that was probably gonna be too overpowered, huh? I mean, there is some pretty overpowered stuff here going on. Bye-bye. So, Amalthea, are you gonna... Are you piloting this thing or, or not? No. That was not the case. Still a ways to go. Nah, I think that's pretty good already. I don't have much more, much more to go. Little, maybe. Not much, Curia Bomb. Wow. The match is decided! The winner is Estelle's team! Let's keep up this momentum! First, allow me to introduce who will be fighting in the third round! In the blue corner, we're led by Senior Mace Estelle Bright of the Bracer Guild! Standing against them in the red corner, we have the Deadly Martial Arts Duo Team Taito! Unfortunately, they couldn't get Zin to sign up because they expected to have to go against him! Step on up and ready your weapons! Ready! Fight! Okay, that was uh, staged, but it's, uh, 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 we have problems, man. Kilika, ex receptionist of the Bracer Guild and master of the Taito School, wields chakrams, and Walter the Direwolf. Dude, he's gonna start trying to faint us all, isn't he? Oh, I'm sorry, Ren, you're not gonna, you're not gonna like this part. Okay. 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 I hold in my hand the chalice of heaven. May its holiest of light act as our seed. Okay. Excess denied. You shall not pass, buddy. You can ask Breaker all you want. I don't care. See if I care. See if I care. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, that's not what I was expecting, but um, <clears throat> keep in mind he does have access to something called the Zero Impact Fist, and uh, that will also one-shot Ren, and it's not an ass breaker. Ooh, there's uh, a lot of ways how this could go very wrong. Kilika, um, talk about it. Talk about it. Oh wait, let me tell ya. Access denied. All right. All right. She's probably not too happy with herself right now. Do you know what Ren's gonna do now? Ren is gonna feed CP to Kevin. Because immunity is very convenient. We're sped up, but Kevin is not. Everyone has speed up on them. Is Taunt a good idea? He's gonna be immune to it. What are you not immune against? Hmm. They're not gonna find out. Okay. Uh. Oh, I am so scared of these two. But we're gonna get there. Nightmare Arena, huh? You guys grouped up together so nicely. Ah, it's not gonna be in time. 
Instead, you feed a little bit of CP to Kevin. I think that's the most useful thing you could be doing right now. Ensuring that we still have access to something, to, to more guard in the future. Because at this point we haven't taken damage yet. We don't know how much strength these guys have. And I assume they're stronger than the other bosses we fought. I have to assume that. How do you get through 600 ag agility? How do you do that? Oh god. It hurts. It hurts. So I'm not able to cheese it. Even more than I already am is what I'm trying to say here. Um, yeah. Well, guys, for the moment, uh, take a little bit of a step back, please. Please, please. I'm kind of scared over here. Kind of. There's a couple of ass breakers ready. I'm not gonna need to use Enfeeble. I can use Silver Thorn. Clever. I have regrets. I should have used a. I should have used Death Scream. Should have, but I didn't. Do I really want to knock him apart? Mm. Or do I just want to knock Kilika into the situation? No, I want to go all out damage. And since Walter hasn't shown us the worst he can do yet, I will still continue buffing up my defenses. <clears throat> I don't think one layer of protection is enough to do this either. It's not what I wanted to see here. <sighs> Just like a shining palm. You could almost mistake him for a shining palm, couldn't you? Or her, Reese. Let's not be a moron here. Let's not give Walter credit for nothing. Okay, Kevin, almost there. I will do the double layer of protection. You know it. Yeah, I need to do that right now. Kevin! Uh. Open your mouth! Learn the recipe for triplet ice. Yeah. Yeah. And here we go. Grail Sphere. I hold in my hand the chalice of heaven. May its holiest of light. This is how much ex respect I have for Walter and Kilika. But now I've lost all respect for the Nightmare Arena. All of it. All of it. I will conquer it right now. Why did you tell me that this was so incredibly tough? Seriously. I mean, I'm not that good. I'm... I'm just some guy. It's not like I'm as... I'm just so good that this doesn't... Like that I got behind the difficulty. I mean, I, I'll admit, I am cheesing the living shit out of this. <laughs> Pardon my French. But, um... Hey, if, if that's how we're gonna win, that's how we're gonna win. I'll say. You know what looks real juicy? Real juicy right now? 
Yep, that cringe round coming up. Oh, yeah. Hey, Walter. Ever seen a cringe round with a strength boost and a wheel of time, buddy? I bet you've not seen one like these. <clears throat> Sucks to be you, buddy. Should probably consider not smoking anymore. Because otherwise... You know, you'll not live particularly long. Let's take a sip of my tea, because uh, this is gonna be fun. I don't have any tea. Yeah. Yeah, buddy, um, double layer of protection. Let me tell you, it's quite good. It's quite nice. Quite the nice thing. Can you left analog stick, please? Alright, nah, it's not gonna work. Goodbye, Walter. Was nice, not. But hey, you know, everything has to end one at, at one point. You can't believe it! Do give me those iron arms, though. I mean, I'm sorry, Kilika. I really like you, but I just can't help myself here. Team Taito, huh? Not impressed. Not impressed. You made me fear this fight, too. I thought this was gonna be a, an Omega um, Omega type type battle, but uh, are you gonna die? Yeah. Yes, you failed. Woo! We're now run, round four, right? Because I was too. Too full of myself? Zero powder, Onyx Gem. The match is decided! The winner is a stealth team! <laughs> oh, yeah, I was too full of myself, wasn't I? The moment is upon us at last! It is time for the final round to begin! Oh fuck! Will our challengers emerge victorious one last time? You won't have to wait long to find out! Well, allow me to introduce our final teams! In the blue corner, we are led by Senior Bracer Stel Bright of the Bracer Guild! Standing against them in the red corner, we have the strongest and deadliest tag team in history, Team Blades! Step on up and ready your weapons! <clears throat> ready! Fight! Yeah. Uh. Uh. Cassius, 87,000 HP, Commander-in-Chief of the Liberal Royal Army, understands the true nature of all things. Luva, the Blade Lord, 85,000 HP. Enforcer number two fails all before him with powerful arts and swordsmanship. Uh. Uh. Ah, uh, shit. We might have slight problems. I'm not gonna try to clog them down. Because... It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Oh, 
I was too full of myself. Why? Why me? Why? We're gonna buff ourselves up, and after that, it's uh, a genetic barrier is coming. That is for certain. But that's only if I make it that far. Which is debatable. Which is very, very, very much debatable. <laughs> that's how you should be like that's what you the noise you should be doing right now okay that's my final two buffs after that a genetic barrier is in check let's hope genetic barrier does not br block the grail The really unfortunate thing in this situation is that my my Holy Grail is not set as my ass breaker. So right now I can I cannot just do it. I can heal heal us all up. You don't have access to No, you don't have enough earth in your loadout. So let's heal everyone up and hope this goes well. Although, I don't think they'll wait nicely with their ass breakers. But maybe. Maybe. And Löwe hasn't split himself yet. Oh! Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. You shouldn't have done that. You should not have done that, Dad. Still, you don't want to be anywhere near down there. Because, um, if you didn't know, <laughs> Cassius Bright really enjoys his AoE attacks. So, yeah, uh, we're definitely not gonna step in there again. Genetic Barrier is coming. We're all buffed as can be, so... Don't attack Ren. Don't attack Ren. Don't. Let's be ballsy. Drum as far away as possible. As far from Ren as possible. I don't want you anywhere near Kevin. Uh, it's not very far from Ren, is it? Okay, Reese. Kevin wants to do a layer of protection on everyone. Oh, okay. Okay. For the moment, we are out of the woods because we're not gonna get a an ass breaker in the face within the next two minutes, which is extremely convenient. Which is not to say that they're not gonna find a way to break through my defenses, but um, well, show you some piece of your own medicine there, Luva. He's resisting against that, isn't he? Are you? No. He takes a lot of magic damage now that I think about it. And a lot of his stale damage as well. I hold in my hand the chalice of heaven. May its holiest of lights act as our seed. Yeah, please, holiest of lights, please, please, please give, him, give me some of that. 
I do need some of that. Uh, Hurricane, get a little farther away from here. I know I'm knocking Luva right toward Ren. Let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it. I have regrets. Uh, by the way, me using this ass breaker means I'm not gonna get another, uh, I'm not gonna get another Grail, um, sphere, or no, Grail, Holy Grail of, uh, double layer of protection, um, dual condom action. I'm not gonna get more of that. It's, it's, it's out there. It's, uh, not an option anymore. I think I can slow down the second Löwe. And I will. Let's not clock him up, let's clock him down. This would go a long way. He doesn't seem to care. I am so glad. I have protection against this. And you know, part of me was still doubting that that actually was gonna protect me. Ah, but it worked. Do I go ham on the two of them? 53,000, 40,000, 42,000. I want to wait till he gets close. And... If I want a heartbreak, I can. Ah, this blows. We are too close together. I can draw you a little over in this direction. To multiply my damage. That has been doing good in the past. Arts in general. Löwe does not seem to like arts. This is very inconvenient. Why are you on the other side of the map? Uh oh. Okay, Estelle does have physical. Estelle is basically naked now. I mean, as much as I like the thought of a naked, a naked Estelle, this is scary. I mean, this is not good. <sighs> this is probably the best way to do it at this point. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no, Nervous Assbreaker's gonna freaking murder my face! I don't want to! Medium area... 6,000 is not gonna cut the mustard, Ren. You can say goodbye to Ren. I don't want to say goodbye to Ren. Oh, we've got the real Lerv almost down. Before I say goodbye to Ren, Ren says goodbye to you. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to do here. Do your worst. Nice, that is what I was hoping. Oh, oh, oh Ren. Oh, Cassius. Ah, oh. I mean, you knew this was inevitable, didn't you? This was always how it was gonna end. Thing is, I'm still I'm still scared. Why? What keeps him from doing his ass breaker again? Is the thing. Uh, let's just. Uh, you know, I need one more bit of insurance. Insurance is nice, very nice to have. Of course, the best insurance is the one you don't ever need to use. But thing is, if even if you have to use it, you're sure not to come out too too bad. I'm glad you didn't do that at the beginning of this fight. I'm glad you didn't do that at the beginning of this fight. I should have used energy drain ages ago. I am the I am the definition of a moron. Yeah, let's not find out how much damage that deals. Yeah, sorry, Dad. Hate to break it to you, but... You know what? You know what? Goodbye! You're gonna get taken down by your daughter, and it's gonna be beautiful. Fifteen thousand? Almost. Oh. <laughs> it was not a piece of cake, Estelle. It wasn't. It was the definition of not a piece of cake. Two proxy puppets. <clears throat> a tear all bomb, a T plus anklet. What? How did you... Oh, the proxy puppets were from the clones. The match is decided! The winner is Estelle's team! They've done it! Estelle's team has conquered the Nightmare Arena! Congratulations to all of you on your victory. I'm not sure that I expected anyone to ever be able to defeat those two, but you exceeded even my, my most optimistic expectations. I am astounded, to say the least. Please do accept these. Soul. 20,000 Mira. I am afraid there are no more arenas for you to challenge, but should you wish to test your metal against this, the existing ones again, do come back. Well, until next time, good day to you.
side story, the arena finished. Oh my god. I am trashed. Why were there four battles, man? I was, I mean, I, I guess I should have expected there to be someone after Walter and Kilika, but I really didn't. Okay. What is soul? EP is automatically converted to CP during battle. Yeah, I want that on you. That and ingenuity too. Mm. Yeah, I can't take that away. Ha. <laughs> yeah. Uh I can't give that to you. If I give that to Reese, I will be able to unequip her super gladiator belt and instead give her a one of these. Blade Lord's emblem ups her speed to 127. We could go for 142. We could go straight all out damage. You can equip the ribbon! Ha! Huh. Look at you! Look at you! I mean... I mean... Hmm... That's a lot of defense. More speed on the Divine Blades emblem. We'll see how this goes. I mean, it is a risky loadout. And your defense is not particularly great. We'll see. I don't need all these EP on a reason. I want to see how that works. But holy snap, I've done it. We've done all the things. I don't... I mean, tell me, what else is there to do? I could farm up Grimoires, but ha 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 ha, good joke. Um, I think we're done. I think we have done everything I wanted to accomplish in the... Within the Seven Plains. I'm gonna, gonna take another look at my... My monster guide. Moon doors, we're missing, guys? These are all enemies in the Charizard door. Why do we only have this guy? Where's the other guys we fought with Shira? Where's the gentleman? Where's the blade? Huh. Weird. That is Doppel Reese. Uh, a Doppel Ren down there. Which we never fought. Which is ridiculous. That is probably also a Doppel enemy. Oh. It's also. We have found a Grimoire here, and we don't know what those Grimoires are. Got a Shining Palm here. Everything here. There's no Grimoire here. We missed a. We missed a Shining Palm in the castle as well. And we have everyone here. This Grimoire apparently can transform. Alright. 
I'm happy. I'm happy. Let's uh, talk to Ren. Although she's not gonna say much. Why well, talk to Ren? Because we did enter her door. I mean, maybe that had some impact. The R.C. is the R.C. is that really pretty white ship, right? I've always wanted to have a ride on it for ages. The view from the deck sounds like it's amazing. Can't wait to ride on the R.C. Then this is gonna be such a wonderful trip. We are not going on a picnic, you know. That was different dialogue because last time we had Ren with us. Uh, we we didn't have Reese with us, which is okay. All right. We're done to start the finale. And that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow for the moment. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode episode as well. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next time. I do think I will finish my uh, I will finish this playthrough tomorrow. Then again, this is Trails in the Sky. I could be wrong. There could still be 20 hours of gameplay remaining, and I wouldn't know, and I wouldn't be able to expect it. But I assume tomorrow is gonna be us fighting against Rufina with the most powerful party in the universe. So I hope you're excited for that. Until next time. Bye bye.